I've always thought three-dimensionally and been inclined to sculpture and drawing and painting since I was really young. Art itself has so much to do with observation. It's such like a non-verbal thing for me, like, and that's why like I kind of lean into sculpture as a medium or painting is to kind of like express these thoughts or like reflect on these experiences in a way that's tangible to me. It's like a really refreshing break to go from sculpture to shaping or even from sculpture to painting. get used to like looking at curves and the flow of like a shape and then that applies to like sculpture and making a board. I've been getting like really into like exploring different foils, like bottom foils, concaves, concaves, and like in integrated with flex patterns. I'd go to the with my dad every weekend. He'd stay all day surfing and you know there, there'd be like some of that wax like been, like warmed up by the sun or whatever and it's all malleable. Yeah he even started making some surfboards out of wax when I was pretty young. I always wanted to have uh, boards that you know I started having like specific ideas of what I wanted even when I was uh, relatively young, you know. Some of the older shapers let me use their bay and kind of like help show me a few things about how to use the tools and stuff and yeah, I don't know. It was just like something I was always into. I feel like stringerless boards have like a more organic interaction with the wave. Thinking of the surfboard almost as like having a kind of like muscle control, like where it becomes like more of an extension of yourself rather than a stationary stiff platform that you're riding on. You can bend rocker into the board and then that release and like it added a whole new kind of dimension to possibilities. Time, you know, people can have their own interpretations of, and hopefully, uh, maybe like, you know, they're they're gonna feel things about it that I never even imagined too. So.